Something has to change, though. They have to find a better way to identify the bad guys, or the rest of us are going to stay home and watch the world go by on televisions. But we need some system for permanently identifying safe people. Most of us are never going to blow anything up, and there's got to be something better than one of these photo IDs, a tattoo somewhere, maybe. The Saudis used an American device to scan the eyes of travelers. I wouldn't mind having something planted permanently in my arm that would identify me. If we don't do something, people are going to stop flying. If they stop flying, and I don't go to the Giants games, it means the bastards have won. Yeah, we're not going to let you win, buddy. We saw what you just implied. We're with Al-Qaeda if we don't take the microchip. Do you know how to keep your children safe? We'll tell you tonight. In the next year, you'll be able to use your teen's cell phone to locate them 24-7. Younger children will get a small global positioning device hidden in their wristwatch or backpack. And just around the next high-tech corner, an electronic chip like this that can be implanted under your kid's skin. Let's say children in your community start wearing wristwatches with GPS devices in them. Can't that only be a good thing for the community if it keeps children safe? <laughs> I would love that. I mean, what's a parent's fear? I think it's a parent's obligation to ensure that their children have a chance to mature, to grow, to realize their potential. If it means it's big brother, so be it. You got to do what you got to do to keep your kids safe. Civil libertarians, eat your hearts out. Civil libertarians? Eat your heart, Applied digital solutions could track human beings by satellite. All right, we got the Van Dams, we got this little girl Elizabeth Smart, we got this girl in Pennsylvania, uh, we got uh, Samantha Runyon, one after, we got this other little girl, one after another, after another, after another, after another, and parents around America saying, we can't even allow our kids to play in the front yard. Is there anything, technologically speaking, that they can do that could help in a situation like a kidnapping? Is there, for example, a microchip, a watch, a tracking device we can use for our kids? We are working on a product that we have called internally a PLD. PLD stands for Personal Locating Device, which is an implantable GPS for which our company owns a patent and can be implanted surgically in the clavicle area of a child or someone that you are interested in tracking. It is an impl the first implantable microchip for humans that has multiple security, financial, and healthcare applications. One thing I would just suggest, I'm just an outside soon-to-be investor. I love this idea, by the way, Scott. I think this is a great... Thank you, Sean. Put it in earrings. Put it in a cross. Make it smaller, maybe not implantable. And I think let parents choose. It's not the government, I, so I like it. But w We're currently working on those applications. Good. Do I, I hear music, so thank you for yeah. having me. Give me a cut, Scott. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> all, the, all the best. Thank you. Thank I you. think He's it's a great, make some money. great product. I really do. Fort Worth Star Telegram. Fearful parents turn to privacy devices. Gets into the microchips. Uh, this report uh, comes from the Air Force website. It was also uh, on the Federation of American Scientists. They explain how they're going to get you to accept implantable microchips. It says the PR implications, how they're going to use the media to condition the public to take microchips. This was from January of 2000. Rental car companies may be tracking you via GPS. And now they've admitted that most uh, new cars have satellite tracker boxes already in them. They started taxing people in England with the satellite tracker boxes. And I've read the federal documents where they plan to start taxing and tracking us with satellite tracking boxes in our cars here as well. And... Uh, in Los Angeles and north of L.A., they're going to make you carry a transponder tracker. That was in the New York Times. I mean, this is getting too out of control. College seeks security in thumbs. Colleges to buy and sell, to get their lunches, to get into their libraries, got a thumb scan. Again, training the generations. They're doing this with the junior high and middle school and elementary school uh, kids. They're making them thumb scan to get their lunches, training them for the cashless society. No cash allowed, getting them into the control grid. You're getting scanned.
It's not just children getting brainwashed on cartoons. It's everywhere. This is the prison grid, turning the whole world into a cashless control system. I have read the federal documents, the total plan to force us into these compact cities. You absolutely must resist the thumb scans, the face scans, the retina scans, cameras that can recognize you and scan your face against a billion faces in a single second. Everything, no food, no water, no houses, no jobs, no nothing without it. They're actually announcing it. They're going to put it in place. And you are the terrorist. You've already heard them say it. Gun owners, Christians, conservatives, libertarians, liberals, anybody that doesn't go along with global new world order tyranny will be watched, will be controlled, will be tracked. The New World Order gang has a reason they want to control you. Yeah. Never made a delivery to your home before. I'm taking some personal days off, Ed. Usually I gotta track you down in some toxic vortex, a cosmic battlefield. Retinal scan okay? Ouch. Well, what's that for? DNA sample. New policy. A lot of evil hologramic activity going on lately. The implant microchip will store data information such as fingerprint, footprint, eye scan, DNA genotype, financial status, and personal history. No one will be able to buy or sell without it. One will identify the individual with the mark. Oh yes, the ID card will also be coded with numbers. And the number is... 600, three score, and six. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is six hundred three score and six finally from us this evening technology on the cutting edge we were interested today to hear that more than a hundred law enforcement officials in mexico are having microchips implanted in their arms. The chips allow a person to be scanned, sort of like a cereal box at the supermarket checkout. In Mexico, this will be one more tool in the fight against crime. Here's ABC's John McKenzie. You've seen it before, right out of Hollywood. It's maybe a little uncomfortable. <clears throat> a microchip inside the body. A hidden, high-tech identification tag. They're the access codes to your drop spot. Now, Mexico's attorney general and 160 of his deputies have had microchips implanted in their arms to control access to the country's new criminal investigation center. It is to provide access, said the attorney general, to the right people in exclusive areas where there is valuable, sensitive information. The microchip, the size of a grain of rice, is injected under the skin and gives off a low-frequency radio wave. A scanner reads each chip's identification number to verify an official's security clearance. The microchip is tamper-proof, it's secure, no one can take your microchip and use it to their advantage to gain access to your facility. The chip, developed by Applied Digital Solutions, is similar to those used in the U.S. to identify and return runaway dogs. In humans, it can have several uses. A little stick. The chips can also be programmed to carry medical information. The one in this patient details his blood type, allergies, and the fact he has Alzheimer's disease. The device is now awaiting approval from the Food and Drug Administration. Some researchers are developing microchips for use in the home, so that wearing one can turn on lights and open doors, hands-free. The next step, say researchers, is developing an implantable chip with a global positioning system to track people miles away, whether kidnapped or lost, just as cars can now be traced. A kind of low jack for the body. John McKenzie, ABC News, New York.
That is our report on World News Tonight. I'm Peter Jennings. We hope you have a good evening. Good night.